Welcome back to another Danger Cats podcast. Me, your boy, Uncle Hack, back in the booth. As always, podcast 69. 69. At DangerCatsShop.com, get 15% off your order as well as the Patreon. Thank you all that have signed up to the Patreon. I will uh, list those names at the end of the pod or down in the description down below. Cheers to you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. There's tits. There's ass. Nipples. There's nipples on our Patreon. Definitely go check that out if you want. And it helps us out to keep creating this bullshit world that I've created for myself. Anyways, I'll shut the fuck up. Here is the episode. Another week gone. Another week over. Here we are. Just surviving in the world of COVID created by Bill Gates and also Melinda, as we know. At least uh, what every um, post on Facebook from all my pot-smoking, psychedelic, uh, mushroom-eating friends seem to think. I was there for a hot minute, watched a... I'm not going to watch that pandemic because I think it's... Fu- I think that shit's kind of stupid. Pandemic. What a, it's always, it always makes it better when they put some fancy name that can, oh, it's a, it's a pandemic. It's a fucking pandemic. Bill and Melinda Gates are looking to depopulate the world, and I don't blame them. You know what? We could use less uh, fucking waste of oxygen humans just floating around here. Personally, I believe that's what I think. You know, just maybe a few could croak like the crackheads. The crackheads can go. Who else? We can throw uh, people who don't use their signal lights. They can they can be in the corona uh, vaccine list. Uh, I would probably put uh, people who have birthday parties for their dogs. They they're on the list. They're getting vaccinated by Bill Gates. People who do gender reveal parties and invite you to them, they got to go. They got to go. Sorry, your parents or sorry, you newly born kids, your parents are gone. It's over. You didn't even have a chance. They got to go. I can't I, I can't handle those. Just so like what? When did that become a fucking thing? Let's f- first off. Who thought it would be a brilliant idea to try and think of creative ways to fucking blow up powder so you figure out what, hey, want to, it's like, I've never personally been invited to one and I'm happy because I wouldn't go in the first place and I'd want to slap my friends that did decide to do a gender reveal party. Like, just fucking have the kid. Have the kid. We've been procreating for how long now? And no, could you imagine when they look back on us in time and they're like, oh, where did humans come from? Right about this point is where they got stupid. Year 2000, it started getting gradually worse and worse and worse every year. That's why there's a pandemic. You understand me? That's why Bill and Melinda Gates are producing a vaccine that are that are going to wipe out the population all the stupid you know <laughs> to keep you broke they want you retarded they want you to keep uh producing kids with down syndrome because that's what vaccines do according to my friends on facebook that post uh articles that they find on uh Weird alt-right. Speaking of alt-right, the most alt-right podcast brought to you today. We're going to make Rebel News look like Sunday school. We're going to make we're going to make Stephen Crowder look like a preacher at a Mormon church. Squeaky clean. Squeaky, squeaky clean. We we're actually thinking about throwing Chinese people out of our window here at the Danger Cats office on the 11th floor downtown jasper Ave. not a big deal i'm up in the high tower looking down upon the peasants it took me a minute to get here but i'm here i'm i'm now going to ride on my ego i'm going to ride on everything that i've created because th- this sort of brilliancy deserves a corner office 
in the city. <laughs> That's what it deserves. It deserves to be recognized by the peasants below me. And you probably notice that the backdrop is different. I'm working on getting um, my podcast studio set up. I'm slacking a bit. We'll get there. If there's a little reverb on the mic, too bad. Deal with it. It's it's only one or maybe two episodes that are going to be like this. The new asshole hack is out. <laughs> we're... We're, we're running on strict ego now. We're running on strictly ego and uh, hopefully make enough money on my Patreon account that I can endorse Bill Gates to kickstart that vaccine and get it circulating into the public. Just to, you know, free up a little little space. I'm enjoying the space. There's no, there's no fucking people around. It's kind of nice. The only shitty thing is... Good luck going to try and get yourself a cocktail at the moment, which I'm not mad about. I'm not mad. It is summer. It would be nice to have some shit happening to be able to go out and, and do some things. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, brother? It is what it is. Plus, here in Alberta, they last weekend, they opened up bars or patios. But honestly, who the fuck? Who the is who's going? Who's going? Honestly. So you're telling me this man-made virus is just sweeping the nation. It's killing everybody. It's dropping us like flies. But these knuckle dragon fucking idiots decide that they they they'll risk it all. They will risk it all. They've looked at pussy through an iPhone 10 screen for two months too long, and it's time to go slay some poon. That's who I feel is the only ones going, you know, the Neanderthal knuckle dragon fucking idiots and the metrosexuals that need to go and, and brag about all the shit that they bought on Amazon are the only ones going down to the local bar to try and, you know, show off the things they bought with their hard earned money that they made working from home. They need to go down and flex on the stupid girls that listen to Call Her Daddy. Because those are the only ones, those I feel like are the three types of people that are going out in public while this is all going on. They're the only, those are the three types of people. Knuckle draggers. That's right, you got the knuckle draggers, the Call Her Daddy girls, and then the metrosexuals that spent all this time doing, uh, a fucking finance work from their humble abode while ordering a ton of shit online that they finally get to go and brag about to everybody what they bought. That is who is out in hopes and dreams of just convincing one of these stupid girls that uh, love bragging to one another who's better at laying on their back and get them in their bed. And have the most mediocre sex they've ever had and realize that it was a waste of time to even go out. But that's that's the world we live in right now, folks. I didn't create it. I'm just a part of it. I'm just over here hoping to God Bill Gates starts pumping vaccines into them people so we can just get rid of the virus because you know that they were the ones on Tinder trying to convince everybody to come over and suck their dick or, you know, get their ass eaten. These are the these are the the simple minded people, you know, the people that like the finer things. I, I like to call them danger cats. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I fucking can only imagine who the, the middle of a pandemic. I would love. Don't get me wrong. I would love nothing more than to go sit in a bar and get absolutely smashed. But there's a pandemic happening. There's a pandemic happening from the Gates Foundation, and we need to be locked indoors and let the stupid go die. That's what we need to do, apparently. I don't write the rules. I don't write the rules. I just read them from the very woke people I have on my Facebook accounts, okay? That's who I get this information from. That's who I believe. Because nobody, nobody obtains better information then your friend that smoked weed since he was 13 years old and thinks 5G towers is turning the frogs gay. 
those are the people you need to access your information from. <laughs> and, and fuck, I can't even take myself serious saying this shit. <laughs> yes. And that's and that's why men are having anal sex. It's 5G towers. They actually had them in the Greek era. They were they they flipped them on. A, a, a much a much smarter species came down, put these towers down on Earth, flipped the 5Gs on. Next thing you know, the Greeks and the Romans were fucking each other in the ass. It's simple, simple history. Obviously, they don't teach it in school because they want to keep you dumb. They don't want you having that sort of information in your hands because then you'd be too woke. That's why only the woke people know that 5G Towers is turning you gay. It's turning you gay. They're also about to turn on the 5.2 Towers, which will cause you to turn transsexual, but like the same gender you just turned into. <laughs> It's all facts. It's all written in Agenda 21 by Bill and Melinda Gates when they told the world that there was just too many of us. That That's strict knowledge that only I obtain and the woke people on my Facebook feed that are, are, are spewing this knowledge to one another. Now you have it. Now you have it in your brains. You can stew it around, put it in there, rattle it up, shake it up, saute it. And then digest it because it, it's not fun being as woke as I am. It's not fun being as smart as I am. You, you think I enjoy packing all my shit up to the 11th floor on Jasper Ave to look, to look upon the peasants below me? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's actually tough. It's actually very tough. <laughs> Fuck. Now, one the thing I got, I I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh at this, but I do. But I did. Fire the fuck me. I do support the veterans. Don't get. Don't kid me. I fucking love everything the veterans do. But this is just my sick twist. This my sick twisted sense of humor coming out. The snowbirds were flying across Canada. Now everybody, oh, what a waste of tax dollars! It's a waste of fucking tax dollars. Justin Trudeau, that liberal cock. No, they need the fly time. They have to. Ha they, they were going to spend the money anyways to make sure these men and women got their air time. So they thought it would be a brilliant idea to fly them across Canada. For our American listeners, this is this is like similar to the Blue Angels, the Air Force, the Canadian Air Force is. Snowbirds are similar to your Blue Angels to you American listeners, so you know what I'm talking about. All right. Like there's thousands of Americans that listen to this, <laughs> this, this alt-right propaganda, this alt-right Canadian propaganda that makes rebel news look like Sunday school. But the snowbirds were flying across Canada and trying to boost morale. Well, fuck me. If morale didn't just de fucking debacle somebody's fucking driveway. If is if that's what see now this is con conspiracy theory. Justin Trudeau wants the morale in the shitter. That's why he used 5G again to turn the pilots gay, and the planes went crashing down into some old man's driveway. I believe in Kamloops, and that and that's a true fact because I am woke and I know everything. Unlike, unlike all the cuck lords on, uh, like on the 10th floor. I can only imagine what those idiots think. They don't, because they're not on the 11th. Higher elevation, higher amount of brain cells. Simple mathematics. Simple science. Simple geographic news. There you have it. <laughs> uh, but, but what the fuck, hey? What are the odds? The biggest... The most morale boosting uh, event we can offer to the public comes crashing down an old man McGinty's front fucking yard. And God rest the soul that uh, that passed away. I, I don't know the whole article, but I, I did just laugh a little bit about the morale boosting. Not at somebody dying. I don't, I, I'm over a plane crash. 
Have I died over a, or have I laughed over a plane crash before? More than likely. Am I laughing at a veteran? No, I'm not. Don't twist my words, okay? Rest in peace. We're being an arrogant asshole today because that's what happens when you move on the 11th floor. It's not a big deal, okay? When you become a big deal, you'll, you'll be on the 11th, whether it's in your shitty condo, you'll know what an 11th floor feels like. Maybe one day, maybe one day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put uh, all your eggs in that basket because I doubt it'll happen. <laughs> oh, fuck me. The UN just came out with gender pronouns. In the middle of a fucking pandemic, gender pronouns, if they aren't on the front lobe of your fucking cranium, you are nothing but a misogynistic Nazi scum. Okay? That's what you are. If you don't think that going around calling firemen firefighters, you deserve to die. You deserve to get the vaccination that Bill and Melinda are creating. In fact, throw those people in the same pile as the gender reveal people, dog party moms, uh, winos. Let's get rid of winos too while we're at it because they're pathetic. And, and, and now the gender pronouns. If you, if you aren't using gender pronouns in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic... While you're worrying about going back to your job at the meat packing plant or even, uh, you know, you're scrounging pennies together to pay your Shaw cable bill. It, your, your visa visas knocking on your door with a nine millimeter that uh, was recently banned. They got a stolen gun. They're shoving it down your throat to get their eighty nine dollars you spent on Amazon. Because you can't pay it now. So you thought a shopping spree would be a good idea because you had a little visa credit. You had a little visa credit. Thought it'd be a good idea to get a little something nice. Something to pass the quarantine. But no. Now visa's knocking on your door because they want their money. And uh, you're not using gender pronouns. So now Bill and Melinda Gates are knocking on your fucking door too. They want you dead. They want you dead for not using gender pronouns. Like a, like, like a fucking non-woke person would do. Not me though. I don't use gender pronouns. I'm too woke. They won't get me. I'm way too woke. I once shoved anal beads made out of crystals from a hemp store up my ass. Now my chakras have never been more aligned than today. That's why the the vaccine will never work on me. I got way too much natural light, natural energy, and I drank a kombucha juice for the first time in four years yesterday. So I'm way too woke. I'm way too woke. Sometimes I piss granola. That's how woke I am. That's how connected to the earth I am. It's tough being this woke. It's tough being this woke on the 11th floor, higher Higher to Horus, the sun god, who's raining down all that electric energy into my soul to make me feel like the most woke person on the planet. See, they should they, they should have just hired me to boost the morale around this country, I swear. Uh, North America, I should be a North American spokesperson on making sure that morale is high during all this. Donnie Trump has got to take the back seat for a little bit. CNN needs to the, vote an hour special with just your boy spewing woke facts like gender pronouns. Don't, no more fire, no more firemen, no more policemen. They're police people, okay? They're firefighters, a fire person. <laughs> I, I can't remember the whole list of it, but it was, my God, was it pathetic. Who the fuck sits there in the middle of, you know, the human race is about to be decimated. And the last thing we need to be known for is making sure that we had the proper gender pronouns in place. So that way, when history writes itself in the future, we were known as non-binary very, very loving individuals. And we were very cautious on the words we said to one another because that's how history needs to know this era. (laughs) 
Oh, what a pathetic fucking place we live in. The, G the UN, the United Nations, instead of, you know, they're starving, starving people all across fucking India. Oh, fuck, even here. People losing their jobs by the millions. And what we are focused on here at the United Nations is ensuring that you scumbag, misogynistic pieces of shit below us are using the proper nouns or pronouns, sorry, that we put in place in front of you. And if you don't, Big Billy's coming down with a fucking needle. He's going to poke you in the ass and watch you shrivel up like an old balloon. Like an old balloon that you just sat in the fucking house too long and it just slowly de just deflated in front of your eyes. That's what Big Billy's coming in to do. He's coming to grab the big, big old needle poke you in the ass and watch the human race crumble beneath him because he didn't just make Microsoft for fun. He made it for fucking data science. The scientists instead. Nope. No. Nope. What did we do? We took the computer, we got the internet and now we just watch an abundance of porn. And, uh, and as time went on, but you know, we started out watching pretty normal porn. Now it's fucking incest and hentai. That's where we're at. That's why Big Billy stepped to the plate and he's like, you know what? I've got a 30-year plan in mind, maybe 40. I'm going to invent this computer, the internet. I already foresee the, the, the internet coming because he's a time traveler, okay? He's time traveled many times, figured out what the future looked like, came back, and he's like, okay, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. We're going to stop. It's a slow burning process. But once we get the ball rolling in about 2020, I'll wipe these fuckers out because they're jerking off the incest and cartoon porn. Like a, like the disgusting animals we are. Low lives, complete low lives sitting around middle of a pandemic, not learning, no new skills. Not, not adding anything great to the human race. We're doing zero of that. We've done zero of that. Why would we? Because COVID-19 is caused by the 5G towers that are turning us gay and transsexual and liking the same sex that we turn into. And that is known facts because I'm woke. I don't read the Bible. I just read Facebook posts from my high friends. Because nothing, and I repeat, and I'm speaking from experience here, nothing in this world makes you smarter than a gram of Colombian Bam Bam. It will make you feel an energy and connect yourself to the earth like you've never before seen. You're able to see your own thoughts in front of you. It's when you when it, it's like a, it's like a hit of DMT. You just go on a little fucking ride. And you're, you're, you're sailing, you're cruising, you're feeling okay, your spirits are lifted, you're woke, you know that crystal anal beads will center your chakra, and then Horus the sun god gives you the energy you need to wake up every morning and continue your pathetic life, and, and be sure that you're not five minutes late to getting to work at the meat packing plant, because God forbid COVID-19 is turning you gay. And I, I, I possess the information that you need. Oh, speaking of the fucking daddy gang shit, all that stuff that's, that's, that's happening with, uh, I don't even know what this is. What is it? So Sophia and Alex, I don't know if any of you have heard of this. Daddy gang is a fucking gang associated with the podcast call her daddy and i got an interesting take it seems like every girl that you meet that is just throwing up the daddy gang daddy gang this daddy gang that we got the daddy gang free the fathers free the fathers this is why incest porn is fucking way too popular because there's too many stupid people i think that most girls that listen to that shit are basically sexually outspoken dummies that are Starfish City in the in the fucking bedroom. That's who they are. And prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. It's always, you know, uh, you see them on, uh, not that I'm on Tinder, but I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong for those that do have Tinder currently. 
if some if one of these girls has daddy gang or free the fathers in her tinder bio she usually has one of those stupid photos where her body is facing let's say to the right her front foot is pointed directly at you her shoulders are in line with the camera as she looks over her shoulders with a very uh astute look but deep down inside that you know when you look at that photo, in her mind, she looks like a philosopher, like a sexualized philosopher that is, uh, you know, like I said, sexually outspoken. You can't compete with her in the bedroom because she lays on her back the, the, the best you've ever seen. You want to hit it from doggy. Her spine is just the, the looks like a C, looks like a, a captain's fucking hook. You know, it just like like a scared cat. When when you scare a cat, how its spine just perks right up. <laughs> That's basically what uh, Daddy Yang looks like in doggy style. F correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I I feel like I'm right with this take. I feel like I'm I'm more I'm bang on with this take. I I don't feel like I'm very off with this one. And usually there's like an ass photo. There's usually an ass photo, but it, it's 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 not, you know, they're the ones that get mad when, you, oh, nice ass. Well, I can't believe you'd sexualize me like that. Well, because you're a moron and you took a photo of your ass and I'm only male and I want to see those things. Simple, 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 simple. These are the girls that, have their fucking nipples barely covered in public and get mad at you for taking a little boo at the cleavage, taking a little peeksy, just look, just praying for a nipsy slip. But it doesn't, it never happens because I feel like they super glue those fucking, like, you know, like the open top, they super glue the shirt to the titty so that way the titty never falls out even though you're always praying you're always praying in the back of your mind if you always you know the odds are against you you know it's it's Connor or Connor McGregor versus McGregor Mer fuck me I'm just fucking that Connor McGregor versus Mayweather you know Mayweather's going to win but you just hope to god McGregor can pull it together and beat his ass at his own sport you know but you always you, and you stack the chips on McGregor you stack just like that nipple falling out you want that nipple to fall out but you it, it just never does just never does and it breaks your heart every time you know it's like getting a puppy for christmas and watching it get ran over in the spring that's all it is that's all it is those fucking disco mutts that's all they are a bunch of disco mutts the same girls that are going out oh my god like here is a good one that, that this just fucking sent me into a frenzy. I've seen on just my personal social media, fucking mongoloids running around having um, little bar hopping sessions throughout the city, all through, all on their story. Oh yeah, just going on a little pub crawl, going on a little pub crawl while Bill and Melinda are trying to wipe out the population with five G technology. I'm going on a little pub crawl. Haven't had a tequila sunshine in a while. Haven't had a Bellini. And hopefully one of these moron men that are out there will eat my ass in the alley because I don't want him in my apartment breathing on shit, touching things. Because the last thing I need is Bill and Melinda pounding on my fucking door looking to prick me in the ass. Instead, I'll just take the tongue in my ass in the alley. Simple. I do agree with that. Getting your ass ate in the alley. So it's a, it's, a, it's a bold move. It's a bold move. And I applaud you for it. I, I'm not hating on you. I'm happy for you. For spitting in the face of science. All while just trying to be a whore. It's, 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 it's certainly not easy being a slut these days. And COVID-19 is making it tougher. You know, trying to get out and shake your tail feathers with the girls going on a pub crawl going on a pub crawl 
Haven't had a peach bellini in a while. I haven't had a haven't had a cocktail in a while. Haven't got out there and uh, you know had some some male some male stimulation in my life. Cause like everybody else, I've been flicking my bean to incest porn and hentai. I've ordered six dildos off of Amazon, and they just showed up two weeks ago. This kitty has taken a beating. It's ready for all these di- all these little fucking knuckle draggers filled to the brim with test. Actually, nobody's probably filled to the brim with testosterone right now, just sitting in your apartment or your lonely, lonely condo, staring out the window. Was your life is filled with depression, lost your job, can't pay your bills. You're about to get evicted because your landlord's like, I've been looking for any excuse to kick this piece of shit out. And now that day has finally come for him. Now that day has finally come for his ass and he's punting you. You're done, son. It's over. Over. Your shitty little apartment that isn't on the 11th floor gone maybe this is your opportunity now to get on the 11th floor because i i wish i could share this experience with everybody but i i just know not not many people could handle this the wokeness the wokeness i possess all from being on the the 11th floor with less oxygen causing my brain to work harder it's difficult being me it's awful it's awful Fuck. God forbid we keep the we keep the fucking bars open, but we can't go. I, I drove by the skate park and they got them fenced off. Fenced off like it's like it's fucking true noble. But yet you can go down and spew your germs and diseases all throughout bars in the city. You can you can make out with the town pump with and get COVID-19. And as well, maybe syphilis. Because you know that bitch hasn't been checked since this has all been started. And we all know there's that one girl that has been inviting over every Tinder bay to pound that kitty. Because God forbid, God forbid a little, the, the, the sexual attention that's needed for gratification of feeling like there's some, you're, you're, you're useful in life. Other than being just a, a void to fill. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. It's a strange time. No, it fucking sucked. The other day I go out to my truck. Speaking of uh, the, the, the crackheads being eradicated off this earth, I'm all for that because I went. I This is my fault. This is my fault, though. I was a moron, left my car fucking open or my truck open, sorry. And uh, of course, of course, usually every day I'm I'm keen and and very adamant on on locking that fucker and listening to the horn beep, so my retarded ass can just go up to the eleventh floor and get smarter. But this day, this day, see, this is this is where life got me, kicked me when I was down, and uh, some fucking crackhead ransacked through my fucking truck. Stole all my change and even my registration to the goddamn truck. And I had a four-finger DC-69 ring. So if you're in Edmonton and you see a bum with that thing on, kick him in the skull for me. There's a there's a high ransom for it. I'm putting a bounty on a man's head on, on a live podcast. <laughs> don't do that i don't want to go I, I don't want to go to jail for putting a hit out but honestly though yeah if if you if you do see him one swift kick to the balls one swift kick to the balls and get my fucking ring back <laughs> that thing was cool too i really like i never wore it but i really liked it i was i i did enjoy it i didn't hate it but of course now some crackheads running around with a dc69 folk finger ring like he's fucking the next rap superstar, which I thought I was because I bought gold fronts and a four finger ring because that's what everybody does once they have 
600 bucks basically lying around. I don't know what I spent on it. It was a dumb purchase, a god awful purchase. I never wore it. Gold teeth, gold teeth that say eat ass engraved on them. Find me a better purchase. You can't, you can't, unless it's an 11th floor office building. Okay. That's the only other purchase that I could probably see making sense at this point during the COVID-19 5G turning the man gay uh, operation Bill and Melinda Gates taking over the world. That's the only, that's the only uh, real, real problem solver right there. That's the, or what am I saying here? I'm fucking losing it. That's the only really two true purchases you can do on this planet. An 11th floor office. You know, cash in your blue, take your blue collar off and sit at a desk. <laughs> I don't mind. Fuck, I love this shit. I get to fucking create. I don't give a fuck anymore. As you can probably tell by the, the tone of this podcast. If you're taking me serious, obviously, you uh, you got no hope. You got no hope. Um, that's why Trudeau took the guns because you have no hope. He took the guns because, I'll be honest, I know why he took the guns. Because uh, nobody, all the, all the people, all the people out in the countryside can't get 5G. And usually the people on the countryside are racist and sexist and uh, homophobic. <laughs> so... The last thing they want to see once the 5G turns everybody gay or the last thing that they need when this all happens, when this all goes down, when QAnon comes out and says that he's uh, actually Elton John, it's going to blow some minds. You understand me? It's going to shatter your fucking cranium. You won't, you won't ever be able to comprehend anything ever again in your life. Because that's why he's taking the guns. Because you would storm the cities like it's the beaches of Normandy to try and decimate the fucking 5G towers. And we can't be having that because, A, we need more transsexuals that like the same sex on this planet. So that means if you're a man, you're going to turn into a woman and you like, uh, you like whammons. You like the whammons. You still like puss. But now you're just a gay do you understand? So if you like, it's almost win-win, okay? Because now uh, being, a, being a straight male in this society is bad. It's toxic, as we all know. We can't have that no more. We can't have no more straight males. We actually, um, we need to kill them. We need to lock them in cages. Even myself, I volunteered to uh, lock myself into a cage and um, cut my balls off. So I can go uh, play Scissor Sisters with um, a few dancers that I really like. I've always wanted to be a lesbian. I always thought I was, but apparently I'm not. Definitely um, will still hold the vegetarian flag up high. I will, um, if I'm going to be a trans, I definitely don't want pee pee. Well, I guess uh, it, it's like trading spaces. It's pretty much all it is, trading spaces. Except the spaces are between the thighs and uh, your life is over because once you get vaccinated, it's, it's over anyway. So you might as well experience everything once. We should all be trans because if you don't, you're transphobic and that deserves jail time, life in prison. And <laughs> Fuck. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, but it's all true. See, it's all true. Because like I said in the beginning, there's a bunch of woke people on Facebook, you know, never went to college, barely got through high school. Can't, don't have a trade. They don't have a trade. They make minimum wage for, at the dollar store. But. They do possess one thing that you don't, and that's being woke. And guess what? They're also essential. Do you see the dollar store closing? No, you don't. Do you see the dollar store closing? Mm-mm. You don't. 
so all the patch workers that lost their jobs and and made fun of the uh, me being one of them me being one of them we ain't essential no more boys i'm sorry that's just hard known facts we're not essential oil's in the shitter oil's in the shitter what you're going to want to do start up a dollar store and employ the boys employ the boys and uh become more woke that's the issue you're not woke enough you spend too much time in the oil patch filling your brain with the most useless useless information you've been uh nothing but a burden on society by destroying the planet with your natural gas and your and your crude oil from and your oil sands and your pipelines you've been nothing nothing more than just a detriment on society and that's why uh we're losing our jobs here in Canada and that's why the guns are getting taken and that's why 5G is um taking over turning you gay so um kiss the wife goodbye kiss the wife goodbye and find a good buddy find a good buddy who you want to hunker down with because when they flip the 5g on you are going to be as crooked as fucking richard simmons you're going to be so bent out of shape they're going to look at you like uh you're a fashion designer like you're an overnight fashion designer you're going to you're going to understand it you're going to get into the industry because it's considered essential you'll be an essential worker again by being in the fa- uh, fashion industry and at the end of the day you'll you'll have purpose in life instead of ruining the planet with your fossil fuels fuck i think this is a great direction to take the podcast just being a sarcastic prick for an hour i'm definitely liking this more just being a fucking prick <laughs> This is how Danger Cat started, and this is how we're going to finish. This is the hill I'm going to die on. This is the hill I'm going to slit my own wrists on. Then then tumble down to the fucking bottom, to the pits of hell, and crash in the world that I've created for myself. You know, we had a blast. We did. We gave it a good run in 2018. There was cocaine, strippers, mass amounts, endless amounts of liquor. Kept me drowning in my own sorrow, in my own sorrows, just to never face reality and hope to God it never, I'd never come down. I hope to God I never come down, so I could, I have to crash and burn like the rest of you fine people out there in society. You know, I was living the high life as a degrade celebrity in Alberta. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. It got me into the 11th floor in which I, I'm a smarter human being, you know, less cocaine, actually no cocaine, no cocaine, no more, just less levels of oxygen to make my brain work harder and post completely ridiculous nonsense on the internet to keep you find people out there entertained. That's my job. That's my job, folks. Is it deemed essential? I don't know. Am I still working? I guess. Do I consider it work? No, I I consider it a service. I'm doing the fine people of this world a service. And it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. You don't understand the pain my fingers go through posting things to Instagram. Do you understand the stress of not getting likes? Nobody does. Nobody does. No, not 113,000 people decided to follow moronic stunts performed by drunk lunatics. And then on top of it, and then on top of it, like those photos, do you know what it's, do you understand the kind of stress I have to deal with? This will drive a sane man mad. That's the kind of, that's the kind of difficulties we face here at the Danger Cats office. The kind of nonsense 
that only the the, the, the a sociopath would possess. And to sit here and think I'm doing the world a service, is that such a crime? Of course not. Of course it isn't. Because I'm not doing the world a service. If anything, I'm doing them a disservice. I am making the world a shittier place, and I don't mind that. And I feel like uh, Bill and Melinda should be giving me a plaque for doing so. I feel like I'm I'm adding. I'm I'm making uh, I'm making it easier for um, them to sift out who we don't need. Do they need us? They need the danger cat. Mafia, the ding, danger game. I will never, I will never succumb to being that stupid to call. And danger cat gang. If I do that, if I do that, I need one of you to see me in public and beat me to death with a tree branch or whatever, whatever item is close that can put me out of my misery for thinking that that is something that I should do. You need to do that, and you need to do it quick and fast and get me the fuck out of the picture because I've gone even more moronic than I actually am. And that's that's why you guys are here. That's why you find folks that listen to the show, that listen to this bullshit that I put into your uh, speakers, that, I, that, that, that you're watching on YouTube. That's what we do this for. We do it for you. We keep you. Enter- we try and keep you entertained uh, at the lowest budget level possible, and the least amount of brain cells I can possibly put forward to create such a shit. Look at this. Look at how fucking much effort I put into this episode. I don't even have a backdrop for it. Just a simple white wall, looking like a fucking dickhead. Spewing nonsense, actually not nonsense, this is the most information you will get about the pandemic. You don't even need to watch pandemic. See, I, I already had the information, I was holding it, I was holding it in this whole time, I was holding it in, and such a prick move on my behalf to do such a crime, to do such, such a, a asshole thing, you know how many lives I probably could have saved by, uh, just by encouraging us to f- switch on the, the 5G, get it over with. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Anyways, folks, that's another Danger Cats podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Now you're more woke. Now you know if you use gender, if you don't use gender pronouns, Bill Gates is going to prick you in the ass with a vaccine. It's going to make you deflate like a balloon that sits that you that you gave your three year old child on its fourth birthday and just sat in the corner and just slowly, slowly, slowly deflated. It's going to do that to your body. But now that you're woke and you know to use crystals as anal beads to center your chakras, drink kombucha juice, eat granola and use gender pronouns and you'll get through this pandemic with a breeze. Thank you again. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit like. Be sure to follow. Do whatever I fucking say because I am on the 11th floor and I possess information in my brain that you will never, ever, ever in your life be able to comprehend. That's why you owe me a subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you got this far, remember, Danger Cats podcast, use the code Danger Cats or podcast 69 at DangerCatsShop.com. Patreon. Patreon will have exclusive content on it. Right now, we got the amateur uh, contest from uh, Grand Prairie. We have that on there. Uh, I am absolutely floored in that one. Drunk as hell, depressed, high on cocaine. It is cringeworthy for me to watch, but at least you can laugh at me in the lowest point in my life as uh, the world came down on me right around that moment in time. And it is absolutely soothing. For the viewer to know that you were doing better than me in that moment in time, and you should be thankful. Anyways, thank you again for tuning in to another Danger Cats podcast, and we'll see you again next week with more woke facts.